new Neuro DSP archetype Tom Morello plugin. So I'm gonna use this one even though it is a single coil. I'm not gonna play like Tom Morello because I can't. That's not my style. He's got his own unique style. A lot of people know him as a whammy pedal guy, just like they do to me sometimes. It's kind of funny, you know, you play the guitar, like you do how many songs? If you do like one whammy or two wah-wah solos or two whammy solos, you end up being the whammy guy or the wah guy. Let's start with the first position here. What we got here? A dive bomb pedal? So it's um, activated based on your picking. Dive bomb, I assume if you press the down button, you play the note, it goes one, one octave down, listen. Like you play your bass player. Interesting little effect. You know, you gotta think about how you're gonna play this thing. Then we got the amp. That looks like a Marshall, JCM something, 900, obviously, Tom Morello don't, doesn't want to show any logo here, putting tape on it. And you see a lot of musicians actually, when they use certain amps, it's, it's not sponsored or they're sponsored by a different brand. They have to put a sticker or some kind of thing to cover the amp logo. And I understand that because if these guys are not paying you and you're a professional musician, I guess you got to cover the brand. So I have um, wired up my pedal board, which contains a Morningstar MC8 MIDI pedal um, controller. It's actually really smart. I have um, set this one out to be a mute. So if I press on it, I turn the amp off. If I turn it on, I've got a little mute button there. And if you are curious about how the MIDI stuff was, is set up, I can show you that. Um, that's how I set it up. The different um, CC messages will do different things to it. Activate the amp, switch off the amp, activate the wah. Next preset. Technically, you can play with this live. If you put a MIDI pedal, that's gonna do all the control for it, which is pretty cool. This amp sounds very familiar, like you would have heard if you, if you have a lot of experience hearing amps, like real amps before the digital era. I can tell you this sounds like a, very much like a Marshall type amp. Oh, the JCM amps. Um, I got a gain dial to the max. Okay, that's the normal channel. The gain is very natural. It sounds like a real amp, the way you change it. Listen. I like that. You know, if you have experience with these amps, you know how they sound like when you make the gain. I gotta give it to Neuro DSP. I had stuff, other software before where they say it sounds real in the advertising, but when I tried it, I'm talking about like years ago, you're always kind of disappointed and go, well, this sounds kind of scratchy, doesn't sound real. But I think Neuro DSP really the first one that came with this new um, plugin that really, I can say this sounds real. The treble, I'm gonna put the middle to the max. That's kind of how I do it too. Boost up here and put the master down. Next up, the pedals I just showed you here. What we got here, detune. All right, I don't want any detune, do I? I'm gonna not detune it. Detune zero, that's how I want it. So in this chain here, the whammy is actually behind the amp. You see here? And I get it because this is not actually um, noisy. This is a digital representation of a, I guess they're based on a whammy pedal. In the real world, I wouldn't put a whammy behind an amp because it will suck out all the tone out of it. It will destroy the tone and then send it to your, your amplifier. And I got the wah also here, set up here with an expression pedal. Technically you can get the wah and the whammy on at the same time. So here we go. Let's play this guitar for a second. I've never played this guitar. Tom Morello donated this guitar to the dancers, the strippers that was trying to start a union. They were complaining about the conditions, the working conditions being unsafe and everything. So they all got fired. So Tom Morello actually went to the picket line, support them and gave them this guitar to um, help them raise funds. And why do I have the guitar? Well, because um, 
It was my wife's case. She was a prosecutor for that case. Everyone wanted to make a movie about it now. It's a big case in America. It was huge. It's all over the news. And maybe my life will have a side road in a movie about my wife. She's a superstar in this now. Way more difficult than writing a song, you know, doing um, what she was doing. There you go, that is the guitar signed by Tom Morello that he donated. You can actually go and buy this guitar if you want to support the cause. We'll have a link up right here on this video. Tom Morello did say he recorded with this guitar, so he had played it, he had recorded with it. If you're a big Tom Morello Rage Against the Machine fan, this is a chance for you to get one of these. You can actually shred on this thing. So on stage, I actually put a wah and a whammy pedal right next to each other and I used put my foot diagonally to be able to operate both at the same time for the song, my heart would go on on stage. That's one way to do it. Otherwise, you gotta put two feet on it. But this solves the problem. Pretty cool. I like it. The wah sounds great too. Probably modeled after like a crybaby. Got a nice sweep. And then what we got here? That's the analog delay. There's the equalizer here and the phaser. And then I go to here. That's the speaker stuff you can mess around with if you want to. Equalizer here, another equalizer. Digital delay. I sync to the BPM here. Um, dual delay, I'm gonna increase the mix to about, this is, I'll say 50% is this. We're gonna put it around here. So let me show you how you can do something. If I'm gonna to make a tap tempo, for the delay, I can actually pull it on my MIDI board. I'm gonna go to um, the MIDI implementation here. I'm gonna go into, um, I believe it's a CC absolute delay tap tempo. There it is. You can see if I tap on my pedal, you can see the speed of the BPM changing. And then you can make your own tempo while you play. Let's try a guitar with a humbucker. Yeah, it's a bit more high gain. Let's try this one and see how it sounds like. Something completely from a different world. <laughs> this is more like my kind of guitar, right? Let's try this with a Fishman Fluence set of pickups. You know, from all my experience, Fishman Fluence pickups really work well with the current breed of guitar plugins. If you're into plugins, software, guitar software, the Fluence are like, they're really no low noise. So they work really well if plugging the computer, you know? Let's see how it sounds like. Is it gonna work? <laughs> Damn, this plugin and this combination is a real surprise. That 
was fun. I gotta say, that was a, a real surprise actually playing with this new plugin from NeuroDSP, the archetype Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. This plugin is very direct, means, you know, it doesn't alter your sound because you see how we use different guitars and able to shine by itself. This shows that this plugin is very special. It's like it's clearly put the tone of the guitar through without altering it. You're able to um, make your own sound actually with what it is. You can create your own sound. This is awesome. I'm sure the fans of Tom Morello and Range Against the Machine are gonna love this plugin. Thank you so much for coming here to check out my test of this new plugin by NeuroDSP. Go check it out yourself, download it. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm gonna get out of here. Time to go. Sayonara. Ciao, ciao, ciao. I better get out of here.